just like that, we are back at it again with another seven days straight on call video. Once again, I am on the west side, which means I'm covering three hospitals for the next 168 hours, which as always is just a lovely brand old time. The only difference about this time is that it is during the New Year's Eve holiday week, which changes things up just a little bit. This video is sponsored by MIM. MIM is a study tool designed specifically for the MCAT. MIM combines evidence-based study principles including spaced repetition, testing effects, interleaving, and desirable difficulties to accelerate learning and memorization for the MCAT. This study tool is also designed by my good friend Kevin Jubal and his partner, Dr. Richard Lee, who happened to store a 99th percentile on the MCAT which is way better than I did. MIM uses high quality flashcards that follow flashcard best practices. Other cards from pre-made decks have too much information on each card, don't use effective question stems, or reinforce pattern recognition over learning. MIM provides an integrated experience with links to further explanation details for every topic. The hardest part for me when studying for the MCAT is trying to figure out which information was high yield and that I needed to study and which information was information I didn't need to worry about. Luckily, MIM focuses on high yield content and they've done all the work for you by doing extensive research to figure out what to include and what to exclude in terms of content. Check out MIM today and crush the MCAT, unlike I did. So do yourself a favor, click the link in my description box to get 10% off your new subscription by using the code Cellini, that's C-E-L-L-I-N-I -L -L -I for 10% off your purchase. Now, let's get back to the video. So for New Year's, since the New Year's Eve holiday is on Thursday, I believe. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for that matter, of no outpatient scheduled. And for those of you who are new around here, most of IR is scheduled as an outpatient. And what I mean by that is patients who are outpatients are patients that are at their homes and they come into the hospital to do a procedure. That's a majority of what our cases are and we are not scheduling any of those outpatients currently this week because it is a holiday. We didn't do it last week for Christmas and we're not doing it this week because staff is always short. We have nurses calling out. We have techs calling out for the holidays. Everybody's sick around here during the winter time and we don't have the staff to maintain the outpatient schedule right now. So what does this mean for me exactly? Well, I have a pretty cush week which I probably just jinxed myself. So maybe I won't say that. I have a pretty good week so far, but I don't know what's going to happen because like I keep saying, I cover three hospitals and literally anything can happen. And people tend to get a little crazy over the holidays. They overeat, they overdrink, they like to do fun things with family and something bad always happens. And that's where I come into play. So please stay with me and join me for yet another week of crazy interventional radiology call and uh, take you along for the ride as usual. Let's go. The one thing they didn't tell me until very recently, and this is my second to last week on call ever here at this hospital. And for some reason, nobody told me about this whole area and this and free coffee for all the residents. So basically, I've been here five weeks on call for a week at a time, and I never knew this place existed until I happened to come down here with one of my co-residents who did his whole residency at this hospital, and it's been pretty life-changing. So the funny thing is, I'm the one that told all my co-fellows about it too, because none of them knew either. But either way, the hospital at least takes care of us here. If only this were the same at the hospital I spent most of my time at. Ooh wee! It is slow today and I'm not complaining whatsoever. But I will say all the patients I've been consulted on today are all COVID positive, which would normally, you know, make my anxiety level go up a little bit. But if you're watching this, you know that I got the COVID vaccine, or I got the first dose of the COVID vaccine. So it makes me feel a little bit better about 
doing procedures on COVID positive patients. So at least I have some antibodies floating around in my body. So if I come in contact with the virus, hopefully I can fight it off. So it's just a little added peace of mind, which helps me go through the day and be a little less stressed because I have to admit it was beyond stressful being in the hospital doing procedures on COVID positive patients all day long as many of my colleagues were taking care of them on the floors day in and day out. It's stressful. You like constantly live on edge wondering if you got the virus or came in contact with the virus and it's just, I don't know, it makes work so much more stressful than it is. But on that note, it is about 4 p.m. right now. I'm going to start getting out of here, clean up a few things, get some procedures scheduled for tomorrow. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully I don't get called in tonight on day one. Number two, also known as Tuesday, I did get called a whole bunch last night and I was not happy about it. Uh, one of them was for a potential transfer that wasn't transferable. So that's good, got woken up for that, had to look into the CT and all that stuff at about midnight. Then I went back to sleep and then got woken up at 1.55 a.m. on the dot about another patient who had issues with one of their drains and that is a non-emergent call, and I do not like getting woken up in the middle of the night for those kind of calls. So, I was not happy. So we have made it uptown now and I'm waiting for a patient to get down here so we can do another pulmonary artery embolectomy uptown. All right, so I got cut off before I was going to do that procedure, but we ended up doing a pulmonary artery embolectomy. And if you don't know what that is or haven't seen one of those before, check out my last video. I'll link up here so you know what that is. I went over pretty good detail in my last video, so uh, go check it out. And on that note, I'm going to head home now it's 7 o'clock p.m. And, you know, as I always say, hopefully not get called in. So we'll check in tomorrow. So I didn't film today, but one thing, got a little early, got a nice fresh fade from my boy, Ray over at Quality Barbers. So unnecessary, but so New York. Uh, anyways, it is Wednesday. Like I said, I didn't film anything today because we didn't really do much. So didn't really feel like filming because I did zero procedures today. <laughs> we, we basically were just doing emergencies today because it's essentially a holiday. We have limited staff, including nursing, techs, all that stuff. So we ended up not doing procedures today and just kind of damaged control a little bit, uh, managed some inpatient stuff here and there. And that's about it. So right now, got my hair cut on the way home and headed home right now to relax, hopefully, for the rest of the night. We will, of course, check in tomorrow on New Year's Eve. Not exactly the best way to close out the year of 2020. Happy New Year's Eve. All right, so uh, not much has happened today, honestly. So I was supposed to do a COVID positive patient or a procedure on a COVID positive patient this morning when I first got in. Again, it is New Year's Eve. We're trying to get this done this morning just in case it doesn't turn into an emergent case this weekend. Um, so yeah, now I'm just kind of sitting here, no cases on the schedule today, making some coffee from the free resident fellow lounge that we get here and that's pretty much all we got going on so 
I'll hang around for a little bit and see what else comes down the pipe. All right, so just finished that COVID patient changed out of my hospital scrubs and it is four o'clock now. I'm going to head home and relax. So I have to take the bus real quick, get home, take a shower, and hopefully Andrana will be there about the same time I am and we can enjoy New Year's together without drinking or going anywhere. What a fun New Year's. This is COVID time. couch because I am at a different hospital today yet again. So today actually is Saturday and I didn't get called all morning but it is about 3 p.m. I think on Saturday and I got called in just to come and remove a line which isn't necessarily an emergency but something I have to do. Hopefully this may be it for the weekend but I really really doubt it because I can never go an entire weekend without coming to this hospital especially even though I'm covering all three hospitals. I always end up at this one every single week, every single weekend, something always happens. So, well, I'll just say, I'll see you later. Oh, I swear, wearing these things, I am so ready to be done with this whole COVID thing. I mean, this is what, 20 minutes of wearing this thing? And I'm like sweating, my nose is running, and my face looks like, look at my face. Let me see a light. I look so bad. And I only wore for like 20 minutes. These things are no joke. I don't know how these like ER nurses wear them for like a 12 hour shift. No idea, but I'm officially done heading home now. And hopefully I don't have to come back. All right, so we are back at another hospital than I was earlier today. I have to go see a patient and remove a drain. It's like five or 6 p.m. right now. Uh, I'm gonna go do this and uh, head home after the fact. And it is now Sunday in the morning. Uh, I did get called in today and decided to take a nice little gym trip with Andriana. We're at the gym this morning. Um, hopefully this is it for today. And if I get called in, I'm bringing you along for the ride as usual, but let's hope this weekend ends off nicely. And tomorrow, unfortunately, I get notified I don't get a day off, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Back to the grind tomorrow and uh, I'm not gonna say goodbye yet because I don't know what's gonna happen. So I'll see you in a little bit. So that officially concludes this seven days straight on call. It wasn't too bad now that I look back on it. And honestly, holidays can vary all the time and you never really know what you're going to get. So I consider this a win in my book in terms of seven days straight on call. But hopefully you all enjoyed it as usual. Let me know in the comments below what you think if you want me to do more of these videos and all that good stuff. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button, follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already. Otherwise, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.